maybe two videos that I filmed that I am still trying to get edited and posted. Um, it has just been, it's been, it's been quite an interesting past month or two. So basically this video, obviously you've seen the title. If you have not followed me on Instagram, you wouldn't have seen this. And I just made a post yesterday, but um, I don't remember what I said in the video that I'm editing. If I touch base on it, if I didn't, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember, but we are moving again. <laughs> um, I had no intentions of leaving Avalon, the current place that I'm at, that I'm moving from. And that is 100% the truth because I moved that big ass tack trunk in there and I don't move that thing unless I think I'm gonna be somewhere for a long amount of time because that thing is a pain in the ass to move. It is pain. And unless, if I only knew I was gonna be there for what, three months, I absolutely would not have moved it. So, that being said, yes, I'm moving. It is strictly just because of the commute and the fact that we're being brought back into the office. Um, I just, that amongst the fact that I am not a good person in the car, as far as getting car sick, I get car sick driving. It is the most ridiculous and stupid like thing that my body does I get car sick whether I'm in the passenger seat whether I'm driving it's less while I'm driving but like it still happens so that's awesome um but yeah I just it's over two hours from my office I just cannot make the commute anymore so I was going to go to St. Louis Equestrian Center um I did decide last weekend um not this past weekend but the weekend before that I was not going to move there. So um, I just thought it wasn't gonna be a good fit um, and it just didn't quite make sense. Um, so yeah, so I am not moving there. Um, I did, however, get a amazing opportunity to go to um, East Lake Farms with Paula, which you would have seen her as the uh, instructor that I trailer out to for jumping lessons. Um, the most recent one, obviously, that I brought Renita and Zeke to. That is the barn that I am going to be at. It is, she runs her program out of um, Mark Harrell Quarter Horses. So Mark Harrell's place um, in Illinois. Um, so yes, we are going there and I'm super excited. Um, obviously there's no perfect, perfect place. I mean, there's always going to be something you're giving up and, um, with this place I'm going to be, um, giving up food because I'm going to be paying all my money towards board because it's significantly more expensive. That's the fun. That's the fun part. Um, so I am moving tomorrow. Today's Friday. It's August 13th. I am moving tomorrow, Saturday the 14th in the morning, so I am going to pack up all of my stuff this evening. If I have time to ride, I will try and ride. I really want to like go over the nice jumps and the pretty jumps one more time, but I don't know if I'm going to have time to, which I'll obviously be back because there are horse shows here, so I'm obviously going to be back for horse shows that Stacy hosts. but. Um, Yes, so I have to stop by Charlie's, which is the feed store, and get a bag of um, Senior Active for Zeke and a bag of Healthy Edge to transition over feeds. Um, I'm going to keep Renita and Ten on the barn grain at the new place and see how, how that goes. Um, it's a mixture of oats and corn and they've got trace minerals. I think there's rice bran. There's a bunch of good stuff in it. Um, all of the horses there are 
look really, really good. I know a lot of them are quarter horses, but um, she, there are warm bloods um, and thoroughbreds and whatnot at the barn on like the East Lake side. So yeah, there are um, horses there that are thoroughbreds and warm bloods that are on that feed and they look really, really good. So I'm hoping that will work. However, I am going to keep Zeke on the senior feed. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and switch him from the equine senior active to triple crown senior gold if I can find it because I think it's got a little bit more fat in it. Um, but I was kind of comparing the two and it looked like that one may have a little bit more. So I think I am going to go ahead and switch him over. So yeah. Um, I got to get two bags of feed and I think, yeah, so, uh, I have to pack up the trailer, pack up my car, get everything packed up. So again, I don't know if I'm going to have time. I guess this would be a good time to introduce you guys to the new trailer, <laughs> which is really exciting. Um, I have officially paid for it. Um, I just have to fill out like the paperwork and do all that kind of fun stuff um, from Stacy. I just haven't been out in a week. I have not been feeling good and we have had a heat advisory and I was already feeling nauseous so I was not going to go out in 100 degree weather and like 80 something percent humidity and die. I just was not going to do that. So I haven't been out in a week. So the horses probably will be wild the next time I get on them. If I don't get on them tonight, uh, I might hop on them after we move on Saturday, but we'll see. It just all really just depends. If I do, it'll just be flatting. Um, and just like a hack around the property, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, so I will... That's the gist of it. Um, this will probably be a two-part video just because obviously I've got a lot of packing to do this evening, which I will try and film. And then I've got a, I don't have anybody helping me tomorrow. So I don't know how much footage I'll get. I thought I was gonna be able to have somebody to help me, but unfortunately I do not. So um, the nice thing is I do get to bring all of them at once. I don't have to make two trips because now I have a three horse trailer, which is really nice. Um, yeah, I will see you guys in just a second once we get into Charlie's. Okay, so I'm taking all of this out. I've got to clear out the drawers um yeah, I don't know how we're gonna let's take those off okay so I'm putting all this basically in my car for now okay so got all that out that's almost empty I'm just basically throwing stuff in here that I'm gonna take I'm gonna have to find some way to organize this better for the barn but I am, I gotta find a bucket of some sort to put all of this in so I can take this and then this will be cleared out. Um, I am going to put their bridles and all that stuff in the trailer tonight. Okay, load it up. Driving up to the trailer to now unload. Oh my shit.
Yes, obviously. That's the tack room of the trailer. And I'll show y'all. They're replacing some stuff in the living quarters, but this is the inside three horse slant. And then I got the sheavings. So this is obviously not going to look like this, but just for the move. that's where Kenzie board so I'll have like my best friend back and you know it's just nice to like be able to ride with people and I miss that the first time hauling this trailer with horses so that'll be fun um, obviously I just bought it so like I've practiced a couple times with it so it's not like my first time ever hauling and then I'm putting you know three horses on it but I have hauled the trailer uh, without any horses in them it's like pretty chilly out this morning, which is kind of nice. I think it's, yeah, it's 66 degrees, which is crazy. So crazy. Um, I love driving this truck. I wish I could drive it everywhere. People get out of your way. So basically yesterday I didn't do like an outro or anything because I just got so busy. Put my stuff in the trailer that I'm taking and so today, when I get there, I'm going to hook the trailer up, pull it around, um, and then I need to put their supplement boxes and whatnot into the trailer, and I'm just going to put them in the living quarters area and just stack them up and then put them in there to travel and then I've got a couple blankets still that she was washing for me so nice of her um, that I'm going to put in the living quarters as well just for now. I groomed all of the horses last night like really 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 good. Um, they got eaten to shit over the past week by horse flies, even though like she didn't really put them out for long because it was so hot. But it was also really hot in the barn, so she was kind of like, I don't know where to put them. So she did put them out, but like with the fact that it was 100 degrees and like super, super humid, they, they were gonna get really, really hot with their sheets on, so then she left the sheets off, but then the horse flies are like uncharacteristically bad. So like Renita has, from yesterday like blood spots from like on her sheet from like the horse flies biting her through the fly sheet so it's just it is so crazy how bad these bugs are like horse flies in general especially she warned me she was like I'm oh, sorry it's, it's bouncy she did warn me and she was like the horse flies are really bad out here um just so you're aware and I was like you know, I didn't think anything of, but like, they're really bad. And they just terrorize Zeke, and they pretty much leave Ten and Reyna alone, which is kind of funny. Um, they don't really bother them that much, because Ten didn't have any welts or anything, but like, Renita and Zeke had like, big welts, so. 
that kind of sucked. I felt so bad for him. So I groomed him really good and like those spots itch. So I curry combed him like and really, really, really got in there, got all that dirt and all that stuff lifted. And then um, I just made him super presentable. And I feel so bad because Bernita, for the most part, has lost so much muscle over her top line because I haven't been out because it's just so far. So she essentially got like a month break for pretty much. I mean, in total, I'm pretty sure it was close to a month because it was like a week there, a week there, and then basically all last week because I mean, it was too hot to ride anyway. So, I mean, that's not really. So, um, yeah, she's just fat and lacks top line now. So I need to really work on the flat and um, work on getting her top line built back up, which is which is good. So that is going to be our goal over the next like couple weeks. We obviously have the horse show, which we're doing um, the mini pre and then the meter 10. So we're only doing three classes and so she's not doing much at all. I just do it just the normal amount, but we'll probably jump in a lesson once next week and then school, Friday and then yeah we'll have our classes so I mean I didn't jump her at all I didn't even ride her at all this week so I'll focus on the flat for the days that I do have there because I'm going to try I'm going to try and at least get them flatted today when I get out to the barn um, obviously I'm going to unpack what I can I'm gonna unpack the trailer, unload them, the trailer, and then before I start like unpacking and organizing and everything, I think I'm gonna try and ride. Uh, so I can just get them stretching and get them, you know, get them out, get them, get them to see the place a little bit, which they've all been here before and they've all even been in the barn like to hose off and stuff, so. It's not like they haven't seen the barn before, but obviously that they know like the difference between going to trailer out somewhere and like moving. So, you know, you can't trick your horses. They know, they know what's going on, but I will see you guys when I get to the barn and we'll load them up. It's moving day. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? I could use a filmer all day long. Okay.
Now the other one you're gonna have to Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's go get ten. Ten's feisty. Yeah, he is. My teeny tiny trailer. These guys loaded. Buddy. Hi. Moran. Look at all that hay. All that alfalfa hay. Look at that. Wow. You want it? No. I put it in there. It's all black. Put that in. 
We got Tan. Hi. We got his salt black up. What are you chewing? Huh? And then we've got Miss Renita. Yeah. Hi, baby. Oh, hello. You're so pretty. Zeke's in a bigger stall. So, yeah. This is where they're at. Hi, handsome. We can see each other up there, but. Hi, baby. Um, this is the barn aisle. This is a stall. This kins. Far this is. I've got a couple things hung up there, and then my trunk, and then some bridles there. So we're making moves. Um, I gotta get my saddle and put my saddle up, and um, I'm gonna need another saddle rack. So yeah. Um, got their supplements and whatnot but I am going to sit down and take a minute because I'm getting hot. A little hot today. I'm a little looking a little worse for for wear. I'm a bit by something. But they are settling in very nicely. Um they feed a really nice alfalfa hay so they are just chomping away at that which is very similar to the alfalfa hay that I have that I give like when I go to shows and stuff like that. So that's nice that I won't have to um, take any different, although I'm gonna put a couple bales probably in my trailer um, just for like snacks and stuff when I come out and feed them each flake. But I have to package up supplements. Um, and to package up supplements, I wanted to at least get on and just flat a little bit, maybe like a 15 minute ride, nothing nothing crazy, just to get them moving because I have not ridden them all week. I have not ridden them since last, I don't remember, since Saturday of last week. So it's been a whole week. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, about it and I got to uh, I need to get like a little trash can thing for grain oh so many things to do he's being very good you being a good boy he's a little lucky but this is basically the view um, so essentially they're making this one Okay, um, one big arena. So they're gonna take the fence down in between here and uh, make it into one big, huge arena. Just kind of nice, but yeah, they got some work still left to do. But obviously you guys have seen that arena before. Um, you know, obviously you've seen some of this stuff in, in my videos, like when I come for lessons, but um, Ten and Renita are on those in those two stalls on the end, right there. Hi, Tintin! He's looking through the window. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? So I just wanted to get out and flat them all a little bit and just, but it's nice having this big, huge arena to do some dressage stuff, because obviously no jumps go in here. So it's nice to uh, have a blank canvas to work on what we need to work on, right, kiddo? Um, the footing is so nice. It's like, it's so soft. It's just like, feels like I'm riding on clouds. <laughs> so that's really nice. So I'm very curious to see how, how nice 10 feels <laughs> on it because Zeke feels extra smooth. So I'm assuming 10 is gonna feel extra, extra smooth too. So, yep. There I go. There you go. Can you smile? Smile. Smile! Oh, so handsome! Oh, yummy! Said, I can't find his girth. You look all weird right now. You look all ew. You don't actually look like that. There we go. <laughs> all about the angles, people. All about the angles. <laughs> what are you doing?
What are you doing, handsome? Oh, wonderful. So good. Oh, is that nice? You have to work harder if you want to roll all the way over. What are you doing? spot yeah are you happy to think. They're so happy.
2.52. I had to go to um, Rural King in Swansea to get the grain that I'm gonna put Zeke on. So we're gonna try Triple Crown Senior Gold. So 10 did really, really, really well on Triple Crown Senior. So I am hoping that, cause I compared the Triple Crown Senior and the Triple Crown Senior Gold and the Triple Crown Senior Gold, I think has either a higher fat or a higher protein. I can't remember. I think it's one of the two. I think it's a higher fat percentage so I'm gonna put him on that and then he's going to get a mixture of that and the barn grain so we'll see we'll see how he does with that so yeah um, I have so much crap in my car I have to unload I have to do something with the garage because it is a freaking mess and I still have to go pick up my trunk next week I just uh, too much to do um, so on the couch and watch TV and take a nap. I was had all these big plans of doing all this cleaning and just it's not going to happen. I'm too tired. So I am going to be done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I got some better footage than I did any of my other moves. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think the horses are happy. I think they will be happy. I mean, it's definitely some some things that we're giving up versus, you know, and some obvious, you know, some things that we're getting, but 